Tech Hut, and in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is just a quick highlight for a piece of software that I've been using recently, and that is Boost Note. What Boost Note is, is either a, you could use it for a couple different things. Uh, it's a note-taking application, a markdown editor, and you could also use it to edit other program languages, scripts, things like that. I've been using it a lot to do a markdown editing because I'm using, as if you've seen the video, the Hugo video I have uploaded for the techhut.tv website. It's a uh, way to convert markdown files into a static website. It's beautiful. And markdown is just really easy to write and I really do enjoy using that. And this application has been great because I'm gonna show you real quick, if I open up Boost Note, this is it right here. It has a very, very good feature where you can edit your markdown right here and it gives you a live preview of what that's gonna look like. Now I have used other markdown editors and one of the reasons I really, really do like this is because on other markdown editors, if you, for example, bold something and it will automatically bold it and you can't copy the uh, raw markdown code and paste it in other files, which is what I've been doing with Hugo. This gives you the ability to actually keep your original text right here, which then you can easily convert over or move over to your website markdown files, do whatever you want with, copy, paste. It's really, really easy with the same time having the benefit of seeing exactly what you're doing over here. And I also have a cool little uh, toggle mode right here where you can actually change how this looks. So you can switch in between only writing markdown, or if you hold down the mouse button here, it will give you the preview of what's actually going on, just so you can kind of see what's going on, and you can just revert back real easy. Or you can click the toggle mode and switch back to the side-by-side -side thing. Now I'm gonna get into this more in just a sec. We're gonna jump back over to Firefox. And one of the things that I really, really do like about this is it is free and open source. It is truly FOSS. It's the GPL license, and you can see Boost Note is an open source note-taking app made for programmers just like you. And that goes into more detail on their actual license. But if we head over to their website, I can show you some of the other features they have that I don't really use. One of them is kind of a uh, Google Docs or really any of those like Google Docs, OneDrive kind of things where you can work in teams and actually edit the files together. Now there are apps for, uh, I believe iOS, Android, there's Windows applications, it's cross-platform. I've really only been using the Linux desktop application. So that's all I can really uh, speak on. And so far it is really, really good. You can see some of the other features here. Uh, unlimited numbers of invitations, real-time multi-person editing and markdown, version history, and a lot more. And there's uh, 2000 integrations with uh, Zapier. And then you can export the files that you create as either PDF, HTML, or Markdown. And you see here they have the web application and the desktop app. Like I said, I've only been using the desktop app just for local editing on my workstation PC. But you can see here it's nice because for Linux on their desktop app, they have a uh, app image, deb, and RPM file. So because of the app image, you can basically install it on any system. And as a matter of fact, my installation is the, I believe it's just boost note, boost note slash bin from the Arch user repository. And that has been working very well for me. They have an account, but I don't even have an account. I don't see a reason to create that. And I don't believe it has actual syncing built into it, but um, this is one of the things I'm kind of writing right here for this post. I've cleared out a lot of the articles so you guys can't really see all the stuff I'm working on. But um, like I said, there's no built-in syncing options with this, but you can uh, change where the actual files and the data for this is stored. And you can change that to a directory such as a uh, folder you have on your system that's automatically syncing with Nextcloud, Google Drive, OneDrive, whatever your use preference is. It's actually really easy to do that. All we do is go up here to the uh, preferences and under storage locations, you see my storage locations. It's just in my uh, home, uh, my name, and boost note. And you could go ahead and just uh, add a storage location, name it something, file system, select folder location, and then you could go through and actually select that folder that you have syncing with other services. So that's just a really nice touch. One other thing I really liked about it is there's a lot of hotkeys if you're somebody who uses like a window manager and you're very, very proficient with uh, moving things around and doing a lot of things with your keyboard. This is a great utility to use through the installation process and through the setup process. There's um, examples of keys. So like right here, escape, if I just hit escape, it takes me out. 
Uh, there's a shortcut to make a new note, but like let's say I wanted to make a note, it's just Control N for new note. It says use tab to switch, so I can go either with the markdown or the stippet note. Um, just hit markdown, and then we are creating a new note. Now I can show you real quick under default, this is their little welcome area, so this will kind of show you a nice example. And if we go to a snippet note example, this is where you actually have snippet notes and you could do tabs like this and have different things going on. This is more for actual programming or uh, writing documents that kind of link to each other. But for me, I'm just using good old markdown, which you can see right here. This is what I've been doing. And yeah, some other things to go over real quick. Uh, over here, we can, you can star your notes, you can enter full screen mode, trash and info. And here you can actually see some more information. And this is where you can export as a TXT, HTML, PDF or print it. For example, let's say I was done and I wanted to export this page as a markdown. I just go info, MD, I'll select my desktop for now. And then let's go control A, test.md, enter. And then right here you see the test MD folder and by default it opens with Kate, but it worked completely fine and it's saved with the markdown formatting. It also gives you cool information like the words, letters and stuff like that. Uh, if we go over here, you have some organization options. So if you could go from compressed view if you have a lot going on or the uh, default view and you can switch in between your notes and switch the order with uh, the arrow buttons and then you can switch the order history by updated created alphabetically just anything you'd expect out of this style of note taking application uh, it reminds me a lot of the format of simple note and evernote uh, i don't really like evernote i've been using simple note uh, for about six months or so but i've been using this more and more and i've uh, used simple note less and less so uh that's basically it i just wanted to show you guys this if you do markdown editing this is something that is worth a look or even just as a note taking application. This is wonderful. Um, Markdown is not difficult to learn. It's just simple as like these hashtags are to create the uh, headers. You do links in the brackets, you import images or you do links with the explanation point in the bracket thing. It's Markdown is really easy to learn. And, and at this point I can do it quick enough that I could just write normal notes pretty quickly with uh, Markdown. So at least for now, I would see this as a suitable replacement for something like Evernote, especially if you set up syncing pretty good with uh, Nextcloud or whatever your uh, preferred online storage platform is. So I hope you did like this video. And if you did, be sure to like this video, subscribe for more content like this. Just a quick shout out. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers. Your support means the world to me. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, there will be a link in the description with info on how to do that and the perks associated with doing that. But if not, a like, subscribe, and a comment is good enough. Please leave a comment down below with what note taking or text editing application you prefer, if any. I hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.